Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more of the multi-consumer products playthrough of Stellaris using the Megacorp DLC. And we're continuing to build up our empire. And hopefully going after this Aether Drake at some point, but we need to get our fleet strong enough to be able to handle it first. And we're very close to being able to, as a matter of fact, what would be the upgrade cost here? 1820. Okay, so that's going to take me a little while to get. We could buy it. I mean, I have plenty of resources. I don't know how expensive alloys are at this point. They're kind of expensive. But I think I'd be all right with spending this much. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> all right. Uh, and we're still not there, unfortunately. Gotta hate the cost of these alloys. Well, we'll get it eventually. Research actualized. Okay. We have that resource now. Or we can at least exploit it. Okay. I feel like I should just start getting some of this technology to get it out of the way. Like the auxiliary fire control. Just do that, get it out of the way. You know, let's get in here and just build a station here. Just get it over with. Upscaling complete. Upscaling complete. All right, how are you doing on research the worlds? Okay. So that didn't take long at all. Ah, jump drive. And I think this may have been the way that. My enemy was, sir, you know, they were just seemingly jumping, like, through a lot of these lanes. I think that's what they used. It's, they may have had this tech. Because if I am not mistaken, this is pretty much the same thing we were using with our science ships, except it applies to just about all of our ships. Yeah. It ignores hyperlanes. All right. Go ahead and get it. Sure, it's not going to come up all the time. It says it's dangerous. I don't know what that means. Maybe you have a chance of losing your fleet. So you don't want to use it when you really need your fleet. Research actualized. All right, what do we got? Fleet command limit. Okay. Uh, let's go with regenerative hull tissue. That could be really good on some of our bigger ships. Although I don't know if that works in combat. I guess I should have read the description. Okay, looks like we have enough alloys now to do the upgrade. Not sure I know who this is. Oh, all the way up there? Not sure I care. We could try and gain a subsidiary. Maybe these guys, although they're fairly sizable at this point. I really wish they'd come in here and bop some of these things. Upscaling complete. Because I think these are just like little. Let's build that. The lake is still upgrading. Well, they're continuing to grow in strength. Problem is, it takes them so long to upgrade that it's like they become obsolete by the time the upgrade's done. I have a feeling I'm going to have to do a refit to get these in. So we may have another refit campaign.
97%. That's pretty good. Okay. We almost have a tradition. Four months. Upscaling complete. All right, construction ship, you're pretty much done. Research actualized. Okay, kinetic battery done. Ah, mega cannon. There we go. Or do we want more modification points for our robots? That's pretty cheap. Now let's go with that. Well, we should be able to construct one Titan <laughs> when it comes down to it. All right, what do we want here? Get our lifespan. That could be good. Hmm. Guess I'll just take this one. Five jobs. Two jobs. Okay. I just give you more mining jobs, I guess. Or we can upgrade this. This costs us moats, which are precious for us, but I think it makes sense. What does this take to upgrade? Gas. All right. Okay, and then you have four jobs. It's probably time that we upgrade this, so we need a rare crystal. Do we have three of? It's not going to produce any jobs, but it will give us housing. Which will make me feel, me feel more comfortable to upgrade some of this other stuff. Uh, four jobs. Maybe a little bit more food. Okay, one job. More mining. Although I will eventually want to get a house there. Three jobs. Is there anything we can upgrade right now? Let's go with that. How are we doing on our gas? Still all right. And then three jobs. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go with mining. We do need to start upgrading these things. So rare crystals, I think we can afford that. Don't really need the jobs there, but I just want to get it done before we start running into a problem with consumer goods. Research actualized. Yeah, okay, another research done. Regenerative hull tissue. Ooh, gene modification points. That's always good. Naval capacity, I don't think we're going to hit anytime soon, so that's not that much of a priority. I think we take the gene modification point. I haven't really been looking at our modifications too much. And we don't have one right now. But it'd be nice to continue to modify our main population, which is a majority. Guess we could have this guy come over here. Worm is upgrading. It's going to take some time for that. I could be building more ships while we wait. I'm actually not sure if it lets me build while we're upgrading. We could build up and upscaling complete. Yeah. All right.
It was here that I wanted to build a house. I'm just going to do it now before I forget. I don't really need it now, but it'd be nice. So what's our sprawl looking like? 176, that's not bad at all. Especially as we have 120. Incoming inquiry. All right, what do we got? They're just gonna, they're just gonna give me energy crowds. All right, I'll take it. Upscaling complete. Still upgrading over there. Jeez. Research actualized. Okay, robot modification. Hmm, interesting. That's very expensive, though. I think we take the missiles. That makes a lot of sense to grab. This is this attack we already use. Although this is tempting. I'm going to take this, actually, because it's cheap. And it will get us cruisers faster and cheaper. All right, so Gorm Station hasn't finished yet. We do need this consumer good now. Should have been more mindful of that. It's not the end of the world, though. It's not that much of a loss. Maybe I should have sent this fleet over here. Well, we are going to have plenty of... Yeah, we still have to wait for this to upgrade. I, I was kind of thinking about switching the two fleets around, so when you start building Titans, we're ready for them, but... That's fine. Upscaling complete. Alright, we're ready. Let's start building them. Chris is building Titan Assembly Yards. Okay, what is that? Is that one of these? Or is that one of these? I don't see Titan Assembly Yard there. Uh, maybe I'm missing it. Let's just look. Oh, there it is. Right in front of me. So we have to build that now. And that also takes a long time. Jeez, all right. Well, if that's the case, we should really start building more ships. So this, this is taking a little too long. Maybe we wait until the cruiser technology finishes. Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll pump out some cruisers. Upscaling complete. A foreign federation has consolidated. All right, who did they join? Uh... Okay, so they are these guys. The Golden Concord. Okay, that's good. That's that's actually the guys that are on friendly terms with us. So that's going to strengthen their their All right, good. I don't know where they're leading. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at them. So they're egal uh egalitarian and which they don't get along with us from that standpoint, but Mutual rivals more than uh, makes up for that. So, I guess we could do a research agreement. I mean, that would help them more than us. But it gives us some trust. So, you know what? If we can get them into the Federation, that'd be nice. Our Federation is really not that strong, comparatively speaking. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate, but... It is what it is. Research actualized. Okay. Yeah, we'd like to extend our deal. Okay, new research. 
Um, got some more terraforming stuff. This makes our armors army more effective. I kind of want to continue to expand the fleet limit. So let's do that. And then let's go into the species. Ah, uh, you know, one thing we could really do is we could get rid of wasteful. So create template. And I want to get rid of wasteful. That way we don't go through as many consumer goods. Which makes us uh, not really have to worry about this as much. So. Okay, and apply a template. And I want all of them. Situation log revised. Okay, all set up. Oh, robots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... This is our main robot. Let's see what we can do with them. So, robot upkeep. Unity from jobs. I mean, these are meant to be economical, so I guess the upkeep? <laughs> We could always save the points and try and get something that's a little bit better. But the one that I would want is this one, which costs three at this stage. So, yeah, I'm just going to go with this one. And apply. To all. Apply. Situation log revised. We're also going to research that. And we'll wait to do the other ones. We only have eight of those, so I'm not sure how, how key that is, but... Okay. That's weird. Did their did their federation break? Oh, that's right. They don't have a federation. It was just an alliance. That's actually really bad. Interesting. Okay. Come on, are you guys done upgrading yet? Two ships left, it looks like. Many of these have already upgraded. I mean, it's a big fleet, I guess. But yeah, we have a lot of alloys now, so... Let's go to the Sierra Station. Oh, that's right, we were waiting for the cruiser thing. Which we haven't got yet. Alright, what do we want here? I just get that. Get it over with. Special project actualized. Okay, that's done. So I want to go to where I have the robot production, which I think is only here. And we need to make sure we're producing. I'm assuming we're producing the same uh, thing. Is there a way I can click on it? Huh. Well, I'm going to assume that I'm, I'm producing what I just made the template for because these are both the same. And I'm fairly certain we're not doing this one. Okay. So that one technology, five months. All right. Wait until then. Ugh. All right. So if this federation gets that big. We're gonna get a lot of trouble. Upgraded. Okay. Nope. Oh, got a building here. Um. Let's wait a second, because I wanna I wanna see what happens. Research actualized. Okay. So that was good, but not good enough. So we need civilian factories or commercial zones. That's what they're called. No, not commercial zones. Um, what is it? What is the building called? One that produces consumer goods. Oh yeah, civilian industries. That was right. Ah, 
I may have accidentally been upgrading the wrong buildings. <laughs> Whoops. It's these buildings I need to upgrade. Oh, uh, well. All right. So we're at a point where we're starting to get to the repeatables only. I'm gonna grab the Iron Disruptor and just get it out of there. Alright, well it's uh, getting to that time to wrap up this video. So did I actually make my, my life harder by upgrading those? No, they don't have any upkeep outside of the rare crystals. But that was not an upkeep thing. I mean, that was not an upgrade I wanted to make. I... For some reason, I got—I just was looking at the appearance, and I got confused between this and that. Yeah, <laughs> good YouTuber uh, oh, thinking there. Well, in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.